Howdy everyone, my name is Runic Griffin, and for my first ever video here on YouTube, we're going to play a game by the name of Fran Bow. While I have never played it myself, I know of it, and I've seen bits of it played. It is definitely a horror game, so be prepared for some blood, some guts, some other grisly imagery, perhaps. Otherwise, um, if that's not sort of your thing, you might want to click away. Y'all still here with me? Alright. Well, here we go. Oh, wow. I did not notice. Her eyes follows the mouse. Yeah, that's creepy. Here we go. This game uses an autosave feature. Those are always fun. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me, I wonder. The pitch black eyes is really creeping me out. <gasps> it's a kitty! It's a cat! So sweet and pretty dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. We are having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace, too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me, as the cat's drinking the milk out of the bowl. We are having so much fun. <laughs> it's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels really bad. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly I hear something. It's mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. I wouldn't if I were you. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. and closer. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Mommy? Daddy? And she's crying blood. That's definitely not a good way to start any kind of adventure. Fran, please follow my voice. Why, is it the hooded figures? On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Ah, it's a doctor. Three. Fran, how do you feel? Uh, let's go with option A. Fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. Yeah, I, I want to find the killer, too. I really want to know who killed my parents. The police are working on it. <laughs> Nobody does anything. Well, we'll definitely find the cat. 
and the killer. Your cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back. Don't you doubt Mr. Midnight, sir. But now I have something for you, Fran. I don't really know if I want something from you. Oh, really? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Alright, so I'm guessing I'm moving now. Ah, uh, so it's all mouse based. Point and click. This was my mother's purse. Open it. There's something inside. Lost and found. It's a hand. Uh, let's examine. Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you liked to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She is worried about you. I'm worried too. Because I'm not crazy and still here. Stop it. You're out of control, young lady. I'm so tired of all of this. I just want to go to my room. Yes, you can leave. But before you do, it is time for your new medicine. Uh, uh, yeah, no more medicine. I don't want to try more medicine. It's called duotine. It will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Anything new to Dr. Dean? Today, Dr. Dean. Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, Fran, take your medicine. Yeah, no. We don't have all day, Fran. Take the pills now. <sighs> all right. I don't feel good. Oh, oh, okay. Well, um, oh no. Take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. <laughs> well, so much for the new medication, I guess. Beware, Franbo. If you leave the House of Madness... I will hunt you down. Catch you. And bring you back to insanity. Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Mr. Midnight, I, I don't know if you actually love me if you want me to take more of that. Chapter 1. My Sober Day. Right. Okay. Time to wake up and get out of bed. I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here.
Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Yeah, I would hope not either. Name Fran Bo Dagenhart, age 10, female. History, the patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy, details omitted. Treatment, Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and all have been canceled because of side effects. Hopefully they're nothing like the previous one side effects. It, why would you have a creepy clown painting next to your bed? I will get your nose. I will get it. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. Okay. Oh! Oh, holy moly, something fell. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. Okay. Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. Is this an asylum or a prison? Seriously. Got the guard tower with a searchlight. I mean, spined fences? <laughs> or is it defense tower? I, um, I guess it, that is my way out. I like how you have to click on the eyeballs to move from screen to screen. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time. La la la. It does the same as before, huh? Locked. Good reason to get curious. Uh, yeah. Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Oh, oh, a secret box. Shh. A key. This will certainly open something. Alright. I hope somebody loves you. We all love the teddy bear. Oh, Miss Wooden Mr. Horse, are you having a good time? <laughs> I used to have a blue dress like yours. Oh, she looks so sad. Hello, Phil. Hello. How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. They always say that. They are just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. There's a key in s the key. Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. Oh! All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. And nobody will help you escape. Leave me alone. I hate you. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. 
I don't know if I want to go any further. I mean, with that thing just appearing out of portals, talking to everybody, not just me. I don't know if that's a sign of psychosis, really. No, I won't let that monster stop me. She got gall. Uh, maybe we can use the key here with the drawer since it was locked. Aha! Picture and what looks to be a bobby pin. Oh, it's the picture of the family. Oh, my dear family, I'll guard this with my life. I miss you so much, I really need you here with me. And we also got... A hair clip. My hair clip, I should give it a good use. Hmm... We'll go this way. My legs are just fine. Well, look at you. I can't see through this window. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you are not taking it anymore. Oh, I forgot. Something happened. See? You are nothing but trouble. What is it? I was trying to look outside, and I accidentally broke the curtains. Pfft, accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. I'm curious, yes, but the nurse is still inside this room. <sighs> Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? <laughs> What's a hook? No, miss. I haven't seen anything. Well, I have to go find and something to fix this, you little... girl. Say what you really mean, lady. Bye bye Yeah, we're gonna go back to her desk. Ew. Yeah, probably shouldn't read all this, but if you all want to, you can pause on it. Hmm. Phrenology. Huh. Till patient... The patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Some kids have come around and asked about her and when she would come out and play. Duotine. Why is the 8 and the H circled? Let's make a note of this. We may need it later. I'll keep these patches to stop blood! I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Oh! The nurse has got a gun. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. 
I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. Oh, come on. Take the gun. Well... Pills are inside. I know it. I have to crack the code. Aha! That is why... The 8 and the H were circled. This is going to be 8. Alright. So 8 is H. I is 9. D is 4. And E is 5. So the code should be 8945. Click up the numbers. Oh, yeah. The pills. Kitty told me these would help me. Yeah, but last time we took the pills, we ended up seeing a bunch of heads falling from the ceiling. All right, I guess let's give it a shot. Okay, then. Um, kind of what I expected, but still more than a little creepy. You got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? It's dead, honey. It's dead, okay? No. Get out, creepy creature. Hello, Miss Nurse. Are you all right? Hello? Huh. Um... It was not me. And there's a person at the window now. Of course there is. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? No, honey. It's dead. I guess let's go look out the window. Oh. That's fun. Three masked individuals holding my severed head. Wonderful. Who did it? That is certainly the question, isn't it? No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Was that real? Oh dear, Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. The doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. And now there's a dead fox on my bed. Oh no, no, foxy fox, don't cry. Mm -hmm. Red blood. End him. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. <sighs> oh, so that's how he can't tell anyone. Looks like the monster showed his mouth shut. At least the thing right next to him. Let's see. You can see. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Phil is playing with his uncle, and the uncle is mad. Mad! Hello? Oh no, your head! 
I'll try to put your head back on. I'm sorry, I can't help you, Mr. Deer. Uh-huh. Oh, Mr. Wooden Horse, are you having a good time? Back and forth. The trip of our lives. Yeehaw! Um, I guess... Do I need to click the pill bottle again to, to get out of this world? Alright, so there is that. Fillmore Bronstone. May 8, male. History, the patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boys developed paranoid behavior, paranoia not yet diagnosed. Treatment, daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dearn. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Well, apparently he can't be questioned, not with the monster having sewn his mouth shut. Of course it's locked. Well, it's a good thing we have a hairpin, because that gets through all sorts of locks. That's two holds, but I need... It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Hmm. What else could there be? <laughs> Boarded up windows. Uh, I don't want to. I just woke up. So it's not the bed. Maybe we need to go back into the nightmare world. Cool. Okay, so the clown's face is gone. Where did the clown go? I hope he's not around here. Looks like he escaped from the painting. I'm clever enough to find another solution, I think. Won't do. Watch your step. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing of use. Oh! Here we go. Excuse me, lady nurse, this may be very useful. Alright. So it looks like we're going to have to use both the Nightmare Realm and the real world to be able to figure this stuff out. That's fine. Let's combine these two. <laughs> My very own special key! Yeah, now we know where that goes to. Then go ahead and use this Fran's handmade key with the door. Yes, to happiness. Okay. Let's take a look out the window. Labyrinth Garden. Okay. I think we just came in that door, so let's try this door. There's another creepy clown painting. Adelaida Fugens. Patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Jesus. Dr. Marcel Dearn has become close to the patient through drawings therapy. She is making progress. 
Oh, this is one of those mute clouds. Oh, real flowers, they smell so sweet. The drawer is empty. Oh, let me see. A red puppet and a serpent. A teddy and many other things. Snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. All right, let's talk to her. Hello. You see them, you do, right? See what? The creatures that follow everyone. You mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they are there. Do you know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Well, tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. Yes, I love it too. But tell me more about the shadows. A crayon. A crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. What are you drawing? Something. What is it? My dreams. Go now. Hmm. Oh. Oh dear. Um, even the purest things die in this place. The clown is in the frickin' toy box. Ew. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. Why do you look like a fabric doll? What have they done to you? Please, somebody tell me something. Ugh. Alrighty then. Let's try and see what's in here. I know I'm going to regret this decision. The king likes drawings. And I saw that, whoever you were. Crawling across the glass and reflection. I think the only room that we haven't taken the pills in is here. And now I wish I hadn't. What was that? Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. Alrighty then. Oh. Huh. There you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. But you left it open. I'm sure it was not open. I know because I locked it. How did I get out then? It was open. Huh. Don't try to trick me. Go inside your room and wait for the doctor. Yeah, sure, whatever, nurse. Arr, I have no time for this. I have to find a way out. If you would have kept the gun like I told you to, you probably would be able to just find your way out with that. Oh no, not you. Did you break out from your room? That's not nice, Fran. But I'm hungry, sir. I haven't eaten in days. I won't listen to any more of your excuses, young lady. Sir Doctor, please, just let me go out and eat something. You have to learn how to listen to those in charge. Heh, <laughs> you big people. Of course, sir. Lesson learnt. Just don't do it again, Fran. Go and eat now, then get back to bed. 
Yes. Let's fool him with innocence and then get the heck out of Dodge. Okay. Maybe we can go inside this door now? Nope. And nothing has changed in the Madness Realm. The skate is very locked. No, it's not just locked, it's very locked. Hey, get your hands off the office door. That's the office key. It must be. But what can I do to reach it? Hi, what are you looking at? The keys. Would you give them to me? Sure. I could give you the key if you give me a kiss. Oh, Jesus Christ. What a bastard. You can kiss your butt. Yeah, that, that just ain't right. New. No. Yeah, we're not talking to you anymore. Why are you just staring at the floor and kind of rocking? Hello, are you alright? What is that supposed to mean? I just wanted to know if you feel okay. I don't want to tell. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all of my thoughts. He ate your brain? He will eat yours too. I saw you inside the doctor's office. You were dead. Oh no. Then I have to go. I hope you find new thoughts. Bye. Okay. Into the realm of madness we go, I suppose. Oh god, that poor teddy bear. Teddy, what are you doing here? Are you on your way to meet another teddy? Say hello for me when you get there. Help the poor bear? For God's sakes, woman. And, of course... The child is now in a vice creature of some sort, getting nommed on. I will laugh at you. I will lie to you. I will hide you inside the shadows. Ugh. No thank you. That is just creepy. I'm assuming we can't go in here. Feels like a chilly breeze of sadness coming through this fence. Hmm. Thank you all for watching my first video here on YouTube. I think this is a good place to stop. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe, as I do plan on making more videos, probably continuing this, because as crazy as this is, I mean, it is at least interesting. Uh, also, leave a comment on what you thought, uh, or what games you may want to recommend for potential future videos in the comment section down below. Now, before I go, I do want to give a couple of shoutouts. So let's go ahead and head to the main menu here. My first shout out is to Calico Kitty. She's a very close friend of mine and also a fellow content creator here on YouTube. She's the one who gave me the final push to start this channel and helped me with editing. So 
uh, I'll leave a link to her channel in the description down below. Why don't you go ahead and just show her some love, okay guys? Secondly, I want to give a shout out to Atomic Cotton. I mean, let's face it, some of what we just saw would definitely make some people uncomfortable. However, not me, because I'm wearing an extremely comfortable shirt that was made by my incredible friends who run Atomic Cotton. Um, I know the runners of the company personally. They're extremely exceptional people. Their products are amazing. The prints are fantastic. Their logo on their website, horror t-shirts with art made by fans for fans. And it is very much true. They are wonderful people. They work with talented artists to bring fantastic and comfortable shirts. I'll also leave a link to the website in the description down below as well. 